Now we're going to show you the moon phases chant and the gestures or the shapes to go along with it. We're going to go through each of the different shapes and we're going to start with the crescent shape. Um, this is a waxing crescent so it will go on the right side of their body, arms on top in a curved position. So this is a waxing crescent. Then to show first quarter we're going to use our arms straight on top of each other, straight out to show the lines that we see on the first quarter moon. If you'd like to see more light than this on your students, you can ask them to curve the bottom line to show that this is a first quarter with more light. Then to show a waxing gibbous, we're going to create a circle on this side of our body, showing waxing gibbous. And on top, we're going to show full moon. This shows all the light that we can see on the moon. This is the most light that we see, and we call this full moon. Then to show waning, we're going to do the same thing on the other side, waning gibbous with a circle. Third quarter, straight out or a curve. And waning crescent, arms on top of each other in a curve. And to show new moon, we're going to tuck our bodies down to show that there's no light to be seen. With this, there is a chant, and it goes, shapes on the right are, light on the right is a waxing moon. Bigger and bigger it grows. Then the students are going to show us the shape, so let's try it out with the chant. Light on the right is a waxing moon. Bigger and bigger it grows. Crescent, first quarter, gibbous and full. Light on the left is a waning moon. Smaller and smaller it gets. Gibbous, third quarter, crescent and new.